We hear it all the time, wealth is health. So Alex, today I'm going to ask you, is it really worth making a lot of money if you got to compromise your health to do it? I would say in the short term, yes. But long term, no. I think once you have money and you are making money and you have assets, I think health should be more of a priority also in your life. And I mean, it doesn't mean you have to be in the gym four or five hours a day and all that. I'm not talking about wasting time, but taking, you know, watching what you're eating and trying to multitask. Like, for instance, I'll go on like three mile walks while editing videos, listening to our uh, the videos that we make and hearing errors, editing them and stuff while I'm walking. Like, so try to, you know, rather than just sitting down at a desk or something, editing the videos, I could be doing something, you know, physically uh, exercising or something. Um, but at the same time, I would, I wouldn't, I would rather, I would hate to have like the best physique and be dirt poor. So, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> so, I mean, I definitely, uh, put wealth up there. Uh, and I mean, I say that short term, yes, because I sacrificed my health in a sense where I was I was eating cheap food you know in order to just focus everything on like learning stocks and like saving my money and not spending it so that I could uh, invest more save more I was making that sacrifice and I was like you know putting all my time into that now that I've got things running a little bit got some a little bit of momentum now I've been trying to get more creative with like okay how can I still be active but then like also physically active at the same time and then let me try to like increase my my food budget so I could eat a little bit better but uh <laughs> but uh yeah I think I, I mean health is important uh physical health is very important I mean because if you're dead then you know what does the money really matter but um at the same time you have to you have to figure out how you're going to navigate that but people trying to get started and they're just like putting hundreds and and you know thousands of dollars per month into their health you're never going to make it i mean you'll you'll never get to that first step that you need to take to become successful financially unless you have a huge income um, but if you're just starting with the basic income, I don't, I don't think it's possible to get, get up and going on that, on that path. Um, I look at it a different way, of course. Uh, so I, it comes down to a couple of things. What are you getting the money for? Um, let's make no mistake. I don't give a damn if you spend a trillion dollars a month or a year on health. Your end date is coming. That's that's what it is. Your end date is coming. So with that premise is what do you do it for? Um, I'm just speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for anybody else. Me, I'll sacrifice every ounce of health because I do it for my family. I don't do it for me. Now, the money, one thing I need is, uh, you know, a Wendy's $5, $5 meal deal. <laughs> Alex, no. Every time you call me, I'm there. That's all I need. I don't. I don't care about all that stuff. But the reason why I do it is not for me. I do it for my family. I mean, my my family didn't come from the growing up. We didn't come from the greatest conditions and things like that. So just trying to change the family tree. I know people are going to say, oh, well, your presence is important. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, go tell that to your great grandfather who nobody go and visit because he didn't leave nobody, nothing behind. Y'all call me harsh for what I said, but that's the truth. Everybody got dead family members in the ground. Last time y'all visited them was at the funeral home. Why? Because they ain't had nothing to give. Not give like, oh, they should be given. I mean, they didn't leave nothing behind to make your life better. They have no reverence in the family structure. Me, I'm I strictly, I mean, I did it. I only preached my book. I would not tell somebody to do something I didn't do. I was heavily in debt. Not once. Not one year, not two years, but I volunteered four years to go in combat zone and fight uh, terrorists and other and other uh, people that were trying to kill me just to get out of debt. 
and build wealth. Get out of debt and build wealth. I wasn't building for myself. I wasn't going to buy the Bugattis and the Lamborghinis and all that other stuff. I did it because there's no way in hell that I can walk this earth and say, oh, I have a family and we're sitting here struggling. I wasn't letting it happen. So no matter no matter how many times I've been shot at, no matter how many times I've been blown up with IEDs, no matter how many times mortar rounds have landed in beds with me, no matter how many times I've got set up by the people that I was working with, I would do it all over again if I had to, just so my family wouldn't have to suffer. And I'm, of course, I'm speaking as a man, and that's just exactly how I look at it. I mean, is it cool to go work out? My wife is a workout nut. She always be saying, hey, you need to go run. You need to go do this. I'm like, leave me alone, woman. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. Shoot, we'll be all right. Shoot. I walk to the car and back. That's not <laughs> exercise. <laughs> no, but, yeah, but on a serious note, it's that's just how I look at it. I, I want to be able to say I sacrificed something for this for this family. To make it happen. Yeah, could I say I sacrificed and did all this extra work and then go work out? I worked out my whole life. I'm tired of working out. Let's just keep it honest. I'm just tired of working out. But I know people, I was like you said, that, oh, it's all about health. It's all about health. Or the guy with the six pack and bumping five dollars. What's the point? You got all this physique. And I used to be one of those guys, all this physique. And they got two dollars in your pocket. So I'm going to go with the dead bod and keep the money I got, then go with the physique and don't have nothing. If that's just, that's just how I look at it. I mean, I've seen so many people, I mean, my family, friends, family, and things like that, you know, their loved ones pass away. They go to the gravesite, you know, right when the morning part happens, they go to the gravesite and then it's like, okay, this loved one is dead. They never go back. They never go back because they didn't leave nothing. They didn't steal nothing. They just was just living life. And I want to say I left something on this earth. I instilled something. I instilled hard work. I instilled going after it, going to get it. And if my health is included for me to instill that so my family tree will be different from the legacy that it had before, I'm willing to give it all for it. That's just coming anyway. Might as well do something, do something that's going to be highly productive before you get to. That's just my opinion. Makes enough sense. Yeah, um, yeah, it's an interesting topic. Uh, I hear a lot more people prior prioritize physical health over trying to build wealth. And I mean, truthfully, I just I think the priority should be making money and have you know having the ability to uh take care of your, yourself and your family i mean if you don't have that then what is health really going to do because i see people in great shape in the like in some pretty hard financial situations and it's like what has that all done for you in the end like i would rather have a dad bod like you said and then have no stress in the world financially because when you don't have financial stress you can do anything in in life if you don't you don't have that worry. Right. And uh right. you make an argument and say that, you know, having the dad bod helps your mental your mental health. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean you ain't gotta worry about oh, I gotta get enough protein in the day now. <laughs> but you know, it's and that's why I say like if you can like my goal and uh my my goal for my physical health in life right now, it's not to get six pack and do this and that. Like it's just be healthy so I can continue to perform and perform at a good pace and still like be sharp. And, you know, I don't want to be bedridden, you know, cause I'm obese or something, but no one's saying that you have to do that either, but it's, you know, how can I take care of my physical health while also at the same time, uh, prioritizing, uh, investing, saving, because the truth is if I am even at a gym, if I get a call from the realtor, or get a call from insurance or get a call from a lender, I'm stopping my workout. Like it, I'm just, the priority, the priority is building and growing. It's not, you know, trying to look good and have biceps and all that. It's, you know, the 
prioritize growing, uh, I would say your net worth, but growing your cash flow in order to continue to uh, get more and improve in life. I agree with you 100%. All right, with all that being said, please like, subscribe, comment, and tell, y'all can tell me how much uh, I don't know about health and all that other stuff. I'm all for the smoke. Uh, but y'all have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.